Hey guys, welcome back to MLB 21, the show Red Sox franchise mode. And today we'll be seeing that Chris Sale is no longer injured and has come off from the injury list, which means Tanner Hawk, after earning his second win of the season, he will be sent back down to the uh, AAA. And thank God Chris Sale is back, missing him for like a week or two, which is quite annoying, quite, um, quite sad as well, because he is probably the best pitcher out there in the league and today he'll be coming back from the injury list and also starting for the Red Sox and uh, to to start this third game of the series and we, so far we won two games of the four game series so it's trying to win the series here guys so that will be his 11th start of the season with his with the ERA of I don't I even see the ERA but Joe Panic right here is going to get strike out with the slider at the outside of some perfect slider of Chris Sale we missed that type of a slider pitcher and Josh Spring also goes down on strike with a fastball inside the zone and nowhere close making contact with the ball and Trent Thornton will be pitching for the Blue Jays ERA 4.58 making his third team start with season striking out 57 batters and with a record of two and five and uh, Johan, Me Johan misses goes down on strike with a 50-50 caught outside of the zone arguably you can say it's a ball and uh, JD Martinez chases a bad pitch to hit right there. A hang slider inside the zone could have just let that one go. And Sander Bogart is going to hit a single down the middle for a base hit. And Kike Hernandez is going to score comfortably. Actually, not Kike Hernandez. Danny Santana will be scoring from second base. So we are taking one nothing lead. Good hitting by Sander Bogart. Try not to be very complicated with the swing. And uh, Chris Sell strikes out Teosca Hernandez for the third K of the afternoon. And Guerrero Jr. also goes down on strike with the slider inside the zone around his shin. Thank God I didn't hit him. Hunter Renfro right here hits. Ooh, honestly, that was a sweet spot right there. Right down the middle, hanging splitter right down the middle. And there is no way he should have missed that. And Frenchy Cordero will be making a start today, uh, popping out. At shortstop, uh, Bobachet, Teles goes down on strike. That will be the fifth K for Chris Sale. And Randall Gritchett also goes down on strike with the changeup at the outside of the zone. So far, it's so good. Chris Sale, he, you know what, I was really bummed out that he went to the DL earlier. And Kirk also goes down on strike. A strikeout the side inning for Chris Sale. And bottom of the third right here, Sandin Bogas goes down on strike with the fastball at the corner. A great paint job by Trent Thornton. And then right here, Devers just lines that one to right center field through the gap. And it is going to be a easy two-run single. Uh, no, two-run double for uh, Devers to extend the lead to three. Nothing. And top of the fourth right here, men on third. 0-2 uh, count to George Springer. One out and striking out Sir George Springer again for the second time. Teresco Hernandez also pops this one now. A fly ball to center field. And Frenchy Cudero is under it. No run is going to be scored against Chris Sale. And Frenchy Cudero hits a fly ball to left field. Didn't hit hard at all. And set right at Teresco Hernandez. Uh, Guerrero Jr. apparently. Um, uh, to end bottom of the fourth and Chris Sell again no runs is being allowed to score but unfortunately didn't get a single K right there Johan Mises one to count hits a fly ball to left field and it is going deep and far it will be the first ever home run for Johan Mises and I'm really excited about this guy so far he played around two or three games for us and he looks phenomenal batting right over 500 but this is uh, he also shows some power as well good speed good power good contact potentially it will be he will be our uh, um, you know he will be in the uh, MLB starting role next year I feel like but that's a next year thing because this year I don't think I have a space for him uh, quite a lot. I mean, he he's definitely gonna start over Frenchy Cordero in 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 all for all the reasons. And Bobashek goes down on strike, and that would be not that would be the ninth K for Chris Sale. Two two count to George Springer. He is going to hit a ground ball through the gap uh, between shortstop and third base, and one run is going to score. No shout out for Chris Sale, unfortunately, for today's game. And 1 2 count to uh, Guriel Jr. Goes down on strike with the slider, just tightens him up. 10th K for Chris Sale. 
and that was perfect. And here comes uh, Guerrero Jr. Again, I just really made some bad, bad editing. I didn't really go over it to be honest, but Guerrero is going to hit a um, foul ball. Two out, bases loaded, one, one pitch. Two one right there, change up just a little bit outside. And then two, one pitch, foul set off. Good at bat by Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Uh, I'm pretty sure he was the uh, second MVP baller for some reason. And uh, fly out eventually to Hunter Renfro to end the uh, to the top of the six. To end the top of the six right here. And then here comes a fly ball to left field. Ryan Barucki is pitching. And uh, that will be the end of the uh, bottom of the six, top of the seven right here. We have Ryan Bracer, and he will be pitching for the 23rd game of the season with a, with an ERA 0 0.4. I'm pretty sure he has a he has a lower ERA than Chris Sale. And then here comes uh, Bobochet goes down on strike for second time of, second time of today. And Jordan Romano will be pitching, and this time Johan Mises. Not that much luck, unfortunately, striking out right there to end the bottom of the seventh. And Josh Taylor will be pitching for the Red Sox. Uh, I know it's a, it's a little bit weird uh, recombination today. Usually, I would have Josh Taylor pitching first or pitching the seventh or uh, or the sixth. But today, I have him on the eighth row because I want Adam Alvino to be rested well. And uh, striking out two batters, just great job, great setup, man. And I know Adam Montevino, his contract is running out by the end of the season. So I might looking for a setup, man. It could be Ryan Brasher. It could be Josh Taylor. Both of them are very, very good relief pitcher. And I certainly believe both of them could fulfill that role. And uh, Michael Chavis extended out lead right here to run Sango to center field. And uh, and yeah, we are extend extended the lead to 6-1. Uh, not much to worry about. Matt Andrees will be coming on instead of Matt Barnes just to give him a little bit of rest here. But Matt Andrees needs some game time. Um, pitching only a six, 19th, uh, 19th game so far. But striking out Guerrero Jr., it's sudden, uh, It's more of a confident booster for him. First K for Matt Andrees. And uh, Riley Tellez also go down on strike. 12-6 to six curveball to get him out and win the ball game. We... Won the series, three nothing to this series, and we more more importantly we won this game six one. A very notable game for a uh, for for the for the Red Sox. Um, for example, Mises hits his first ever home run in the big leagues. Chris Sale again delivers again after an injury comes back very very strong. Uh, and Chris Sale pitched only six innings today. A very high pitch count. Unfortunately, after taking him out, allowing seven hits. And also an earned run, striking out 10. And Trent Thornton on the other side uh, didn't complete five innings. Instead, giving up four runs, striking out four. And uh, yeah, and we won the third game of the series. Hope you guys enjoy this video. And come back to the next video. And we will be going through the last game of the series. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in a bit.